Welcome back to my Let's Play for 7th Dragon. This time, let's explore the proper dungeon for the parts we need, right? Well, let's see. Hmm. Well, come at me, bro. Hmm. This game just, like, keeps hitting with bosses that are really spot on. Well, I guess this isn't a boss, right? Dragons. But let's see, um, let's go with Lionheart. We're probably gonna be getting some company here real soon, so... This is gonna bite. <coughs> Shoot, I missed. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Crap. <sighs> Blood letter. This guy's really strong, man. <sighs> this sucks. Um, vampire. Course we miss again. Shoot. <coughs> okay. Crap, these group attacks are brutal. She survives. Ow. Okay. Haha, still just skills. Um... <sighs> this isn't going as well as I hoped it would. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Shoot.
Not even that far in yet, and I've already lost a character. Shoot. Um... Gotcha. Okay. Shoot, why couldn't I land that hit first? Got a bit of a reprieve, I guess. <laughs> um, vampire, I guess. Ah, <sighs> why is this so gosh darn hard? Ugh. Can't enter this place and then be forced right back out, looks like. <sighs> Suck out more of your health for myself. If only I could stack those effects, it'd be nice. Just finish this, please. <sighs> really? That's it? Just those two? Hmm. I'm guessing there's more dragons inside, right? There isn't? Okay. I'll take it as a blessing, considering how hard that opening fight was. Um. <coughs> what? The horse is a known quantity. This dancing monkey is a bit of a mystery. Shoot. 
Ah, oh, good, still alive. <sighs> Speed up, huh? I don't care about how fast it is, or how hard it hits, more important right now. <sighs> Let's finish this off and move on. Let's see, parts. Some mess I don't really need, but whatever. Looks like some sort of hedgehog. Now I guess it's gonna reflect the attacks back at us. Oh, I took out before I could do that, okay. Eh, that'll probably be enough to kill it. Painkiller has not moved a mess with, after all. Whatever, it's just a stupid wonder bird. What's the worst they can do? Like I thought, not much. Comparison to those two dragons guarding this place, this thing's nothing. Ooh, yeah, and we're through. Hmm. Oh, no, I can't go that way. I'm cut off. Looks like some sort of scorpion. Might be worthwhile to take this out quickly. It might be able to do stun, or I'm not stun, petrify. Petrify shouldn't be taken lightly, it's pretty annoying, so... Dropping it quick might be a good idea. <laughs> now it's down to the penguin-like thing, which no one cares about because it's weak. <sighs> yeah, my commentary for these episodes are never the best. I don't really have that much to talk about, usually. <sighs> Sorry. Um... Go with this, I guess. Gotcha. Better take this thing out fast, though. I don't want it to start reflecting damage at me. If I can avoid it. Try to mess with my stats? How dare you! That's my job. Ah. Okay, let's take out this dancing fool. Ah, oh, it didn't work? That's terrible. Not good enough, horsey.
Hmm. I probably should stop playing around with these switches so much. Probably end up trapping myself. Just went around in a circle. Well, let's do it. Crap, that wasn't how I wanted to split that attack up. <sighs> Surprised I didn't pay more for that. But now I can guard my way into a recovery. Which is all right, I suppose. Should definitely be more careful, though. Screw ups like that can be potentially fatal, you know? I saw do it. At least to start with. Diamond dust, eh? Where does it get diamond dust from? And how hard can it blow it if it actually hurts? I mean, like a typhoon out of its mouth or something? If it can, that's sort of weird. And crazy. I guess I think of Bulba started doing his blowback move in that one episode of Pokemon. Of course, that maneuver was bullcrap, but whatever. I haven't seen any, um, stone from it yet, but I'll keep knocking it off first just in case. Got him. <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Man, I'll be happy when last rounds of this coal are done with. Let's see. Guard. 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 Classic regeneration scheme going on here. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I was a bit better at sneaking around in these kinds of places. for stuff, not shallower.
Okay, set you up for a fall. Nice. I suppose, um... Let's prep for our attack. Come on, let's see what you got, Llama. Not much, apparently. I'm not fix that one upstairs too. Let's see. Um Don't these monkeys have anything better to do? And why are there so many dancing monkeys and dancing monkeys down here anyway? Ah, speed up. Gotcha. Oh no, I thought this place would be tougher after that opening with the dragons, but now I'm feeling bored. Like I've been promised a really tough area and I have to go back and regroup for it, and I'm just being denied. Oh, well, that's nice. Problem is, I don't know if there's anything useful in these rooms or not. Or if I should just make my way to the next area. <sighs> decisions, decisions. On one hand, exploring is I'm likely to get jumped by crap tons of monsters. On the other hand, I could miss out on something important. Or delay getting to something important. Not really sure which one I'm doing here. I guess I won't be missing out on a map, but whatever. Oh, one more. Give it to him. Let's finish this off. This is a puzzle, not a paradox. Now, Dilemma, take your time. <coughs> oh, I'm painkiller. Okay, let's just whip you in the shape. Okay. Thank you. 
Well, might as well get him set up. Yep, landed where I wanted to. Well, not take out that stupid hedgehog. Or whatever it is. Guard, guard, guard. Yep, everyone's happy. Now to cut you to pieces. Good. Everyone gets a level up. Charcoal rod, hey. Eh? <coughs> oh, let's hit up the monkey, I guess. That sort of looks like he has balls on his face, doesn't he? Blue balls, that is, but whatever. Maybe this dancing monkey is some sort of raccoon, some sort of um, baboon or something, I guess. Okay. Guard, 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 guard. Everyone guard. Then we're gonna try and head over to the other area, I guess. I need to find some airship parts and stuff down here, though. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Have to head back. Um... I guess that might work, maybe. Actually, it's just the usual thing I keep doing. There's just no end to these enemies, is there? Ugh, sorry. <sighs> well, now the typical mono regeneration to everyone back to where they were there, too. That buffed everyone's stats, just cause. But it's not like it's strictly necessary to buff their attack stats to drop this horse. That ain't gonna work. Jeez. Okay, I can drop one of them real quick here. Why does that want to hit the princess so much? Gosh darn it. Gotcha. <sighs> Darn it. What kind of puzzle is this? Thank you. 
Guess I'll have to go up and see if there's a way to go back over. Ah, oh, no double attack? That's a shame. Okay, let's try and work the monkey over. And then try and figure out if we can get down here. Okay, try and take out this Wonder Bird. Okay, that leaves one Wonderbird versus four. Good odds, I suppose. Oh, whatever. I can deal with one less MP. Quickly now, please. Generation going on this one, so we've taken some damage, I guess, right? Wish this game was a bit more generous about the whole running away thing sometimes. It'd make my life a bit easier since I could just avoid fights rather than try and drop my opponents all darn time. But alas, that's not how this game likes to play it. Get in a fight, you usually have to fight. So I'll make the other guy die for his cause. Even if they are monsters. Okay, I'll run away that time. Let's see, that ain't gonna work. I can't go this way. I don't get this puzzle at all. There's no obvious solution to it. Darn it. Because that one switch flips the other one, which then locks the pass I could use to get out. It's like I'll be able to switch it from a distance, but I don't have any skills to really do that with in this game. <sighs> I guess this hopefully don't won't lay the paint on us, right? So 
Somehow I thought I'd do better. Like he would survive that attack for some reason. Just deal with it, please, Sakura. Maybe there's another switch over this way. Uh, I can check it out at least. And hope. Right? Because the obvious paths are really have been failing me, so let's try something different. But I guess I missed, because I don't remember this door being open earlier. Oops. Okay, um, cure two. And that should do it for my health problems, really, right? Okay, ready to go. Well, as long as Sakura gets her attack off, I'm not gonna really worry about Zoe too much. Okay, there's other switches out this way. Um, well, now it's personal. Yeah, I know, I probably should have rescheduled Zoe's move, but screw it. Okay, let's give the Wonderbird a nice painkiller smash. Oh, whatever. Now we just gotta wait out a couple turns and we'll be good to go. So it's casting heal would have been a bit faster though, right? But whatever. I ain't that big of a hurry. Hmm. Does this open the door yet? Um, attack down. Maybe. Possibly. Doors that are open right now do seem to be interconnected, so we might actually have a way through right now, which is a good thing, because I'd really have to get the parts and get out of here. Good. Get back our missing, like, 2 MP, then kill this sucker. Well, let's get out of here.
Hmm. Even more parts. Great, I gotta go find another slot key. <sighs> Makes me wish they'd introduced, like, checkpoints in these games where you could, like, stop and save now. Because this is taking a while. Um... Got it. Hmm. Well, you're done. You're actually weakened now. So you can return to doing crap damage. Because you don't have a dancing monkey to power you up anymore. Who would think a dancing monkey would actually provide tech buffs? Then again, there's always that whole test monkey thing about getting funky and stuff, so... Maybe they have a point, I don't know. Will this prove useful, or is it worthless? I don't know. On one hand, it sort of reminds me of the, um... ...or we saw at that other place we were at. On the other hand, I don't know if it's actually important. Well, I guess we can check it out once we get this fight over with, right? Oh, you call that an attack. Here, let me show you some attacks. I gotta be running out of inventory space, though. Ah, uh, still nothing I can use. <sighs> How much deeper is this place gonna go? Why are these hearts locked up so tight? What dark secret are they hiding? Or is this just meant to test my patience? <laughs> or the audiences? Okay. Don't need all 200 hit points after all. Sophia. So what is this, Sophia? Oh, okay, it gives you ice on mental attacks, gotcha. Not the most useful of items, then. Good, good. We're through the fight now. We can move on. Why do so many games wish they took the mile from Atelier Iris... Atelier Iris 2 and just like, Oh, after so many fights, you can't get jumped anymore in this area. Like, uh, it's such a uh, good uh, system, in my opinion. 
because it saves you from getting bogged down by constant fights against worthless opponents. Also means you can run around freely after you get done fighting some people, which is always good in my opinion. Defend, seriously. Okay, let's see. Just 10 short? Well, it's not worth waiting. Ah, there's a boss dragon waiting for us. Gotcha. Hey, it's guarding the parts we need. Um... Ah, uh, I should have used Painkiller, I guess. Okay. I don't know if we're ready for this dragon or not. Guess we'll find out. Um, defend. They're going back to full health. Or at least close to it. Guess we can go check out that top corner and see if it's got anything we need in it. No. So the dragon must have it. Well, the monkey can cast attack buffs. I'd much rather deal with it than the scorpion. Because the scorpion, like I said, you never know, it might have stone or some other nasty side effect it can put on you, so this is a bit easier to deal with. It's not that annoying, though. More like a minor nuisance, really. Oh. Thanks for that. Really? I actually get to ambush this thing. It's considered that powerful, eh? Um, okay. This thing must be really ferocious to make up for that. Oh, I get myself in over my head. I could see that being dangerous if it all landed on one target, but spread out, it's not that bad.
Um, that's not even that bad. Oh, blinded. Oh, that's not gonna hit my healing skills. It's only gonna prove to be a minor nuisance to my other attacks. Let's see. Yep. Somehow, after those coyotes guarding this place, I thought this thing would be much, much tougher. Boy, was I disappointed. <laughs> well, that was quick. Hopefully that's all I needed. Okay. Got one. Crap. Oh, at least I can erase it. Well... Let's try and cut through this stuff. <coughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Get him good, right? Uh, whatever. Just come down, please. Let's see. I want to see if I can unlock that door, but I'm guessing no. At least we got the engine, right? Hmm. Darn it, I had something to stay away. And I got jumped, too. Shit. Okay. Hit you with a painkiller. Just get rid of you. Good. And then we guard. And then we cut you down, because that's just how we roll. Actually, I don't have the card for this one, huh? 
Well... I'm tired of being here, so let's just warp. Assume I have to get to the front gate first before I can use the teleporter. Should deposit us over this way, right? So we can then hit them up with the blueprints for this engine or whatever. <coughs> Just go away, stupid fish. Well, I got the engine back at least. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Thirty eight turns, huh? Okay. Portal fell as the site. Head there at once. Um, what was it? Best wishes? Hmm. Okay. That's nice and all, but I think I'm gonna stop here for now because it's been about an hour to get that stinking engine out of those freaking ruins. Jeez. Till next time, then. See ya.